this is a, an in-depth look at the breath, uh, why it's important in yoga. And I was particularly asked to do this uh, by Georgie Jameson. Georgie does a Saturday programme on BBC Radio Suffolk in the UK. And uh, she said to me at the end of the programme, when we'd done our, our yoga on the radio, that's what we're doing at the moment, yoga on the radio. Uh, she said to me, can you say a bit more about the breath and about breathing? So, um, breathing has a number of things it can do for you. If you observe your breath and you know how you're breathing, then you're also in a position to, if you want to, change it, lengthen the breath, relax the breath. There's a whole piece around how the breath tells us about ourselves, but how we can change the breath to make ourselves feel different. So that, that's something I'll talk about in a minute. The second part of it is breath and posture working together. There's a dynamism between the two. A Hatha Yoga practice has three components in it. That's what I teach, Hatha Yoga. It's based on the uh, Indian uh, traditions of uh, many, many hundreds of years ago. And it's, it's very much got these, these three key ideas. There are lots of others, but three key ideas in it. One is that uh, we move the body. The second is that as we move the body in postures, in vinyasas and sequences, the breath plays an integral part and forms a rhythm for that movement. And the third piece is that when those two are joined together well, when they're in harmony, the mind has to be and is engaged in that process so that there is pure focus, pure concentration and a sense that those three between them take you into a very quiet, some people would say into a very meditative state. So postures, breath, the attention of the mind to make sure that's hanging together nicely. When you get that right, there is a moment of absolute quiet and focus, which the people I work with, my, my students, my classes, my groups, my musicians, my athletes, um, you, in the course of a practice, there are certain moments when you will get that and you'll feel completely peaceful. Well, let's go back to the bit about breathing all by itself. Um, very fortunately, um, in our daily life, we don't have to think about the breath. We breathe automatically. That's incredibly useful. Think how awkward it would be if we had to remember to breathe. But no, on a serious note, the breathing runs along in the background. When you tune into your breathing, and by that I mean when you become aware of how you are breathing, um, it's telling you generally if life is moving okay, or it will tell you if you are particularly anxious or stressed, or if you're sufficiently alarmed that your body is instructing you to deliver what is known as the fight, flight, stay reaction. Deal with something nasty by fighting it, hiding, or taking, um, taking evasive action, running away. So the breath as we see it, moment to moment in the day, is telling us a story. However, we don't tend to watch the breath moment to moment during the day. There's an awful lot else going on. However, if you took the opportunity to now and again watch and observe your breath, you would be able then to take a decision about whether you wanted to breathe like that or not. And this is the important bit. When you're under pressure, generally breathing becomes shorter, higher in the chest, um, a little more ragged maybe, a little less even. And that together with a whole load of other things that go on in the body, which I, I won't go into for the moment, cause you to feel very stressed. They've been provoked by a stressful thing and you will then feel in this agitated, anxious, stressed, provoked state. So here's the interesting bit. 
if you have an awareness of your breath, if you have an awareness what to what you can do with your breath, you can change the way you feel at that moment. And one of the things we've done on uh, Georgie's show is to talk about a, just a very, very simple way of getting some control. And surprisingly, it's actually to lengthen the breath out. So there's lots of information out there about breathing and techniques and people saying, just breathe, just breathe. How can you breathe when you're under pressure and you're trying to get some control? Just start by lengthening the breath out, not by forcing the air out, but just gently make that breath out a little bit longer, a little bit longer. When you've done that, start to feel that you can control the breath enough to breathe in for two and out for four. These don't have to be seconds, they can be shorter. The more you practice this, the more you'll start to feel comfortable with what your natural rhythm is. Move towards, breathe in for two through the nose, breathe out for four. In yoga we normally say through the nose, but you could breathe out through the mouth if that feels more natural to you. So in for two, out for four. And within a few breaths, you'll notice that your body starts to feel a little more under control. So that's the step you take from feeling out of control. You can start to feel in control with this very simple breathing technique. So I'll probably do some more short snippets on breathing, but take that one away with you. Practice it and then use it. So that's it for the moment on hints and tips for how to manage your breath.